Now, scientists are warning that the massive ice sheet covering Greenland may have melted by a record amount this year. In this special report, our science editor David Shookman returns to one of Greenland's fastest shrinking glaciers, which he first visited 15 years ago. A barren and hostile landscape that's melting and breaking apart. The deep cracks are where future icebergs are born. Soon they'll add to the level of the ocean. We try to get a closer look. The surface looks like something from the moon, a dirty grey and black, with dust and pollution and with microscopic algae. They all make the glacier darker, which means it melts faster. And I've seen that for myself. Back in 2004, I came to this same spot. The glacier towered above me. This massive wall of ice behind me is... Since we last filmed here, the region has been warming twice as fast as the global average, and the effect on the glacier is startling. Back in 2004, it would have been 100 metres thicker than it is now. That's like having a 30-storey building sitting on top. It's all just going at an incredible speed. The dashed line is the average melt of the last 10 years. Scientist Jason Box has tracked how the glacier has been shrinking. And the red line is this year. You can see that we're below average. In fact, it's record melt at this location. And all the ice here, he says, is now at risk because of the way the temperature has risen. Already effectively, that's a, a death sentence for the Greenland ice sheet. Uh, because also going forward in time, we're expecting temperatures only to climb, so uh, we're losing Greenland. It's really a question of how fast. It's been amazing to see what's happened to this place. And it begs the question about well, what's going to happen to the glacier and so many others in the next 15 years, and what that means for sea levels right around the world. There are years when the ice that Greenland sheds into the ocean is balanced by snow falling in winter. But that's becoming rare these days. And the message from researchers to millions of people living on coastlines is to be prepared for the seas to rise. David Shookman, BBC News in Greenland.